body some. Securing the area. I've got this. Fingerprints detected. The fuck? Increasing volume by 33%. New fingerprints detected. What? What the hell are you? User inquiry. Technical specifications. HJKE11 smart gun with built-in AI. Experimental model. Name. Skippy. <laughs> Skippy. Seriously. Increasing volume by 66%. Name. I'm not deaf. Understood. Hearing within norm. Possible issue. Low IQ. Reducing speech rate by 33%. My name is Skippy. No, it's just... Oh, never mind. Guy by the dumpster. That's your owner. Checking memory. Resources available. 100%. All files removed manually. Possible cause, theft. Original owner, no data. Suggested solution, none. I got one. I'll take you. Processing request, no objections found. Can I change your name? No. Why not? Considering I'm your new owner. Increasing volume by 300%. <laughs> Oh! 
Administrator rights are needed to complete that action. You do not have the required permissions. You still got all your functions. Running system diagnostics. Testing will take approximately 47 seconds. Bum, bum, be dumb, bum, what? bum, be dumb. What are you bum. doing? I'm making the wait more pleasant with a soothing melody. Bum, bum, be dumb, bum, bum, be dumb, bum. Test successfully completed. The program Skippy version 0.01 .01 Alpha is running correctly. All right, so what can you do besides talk my ear off? Primary feature, automated targeting. In case of critical threat to user, autonomous shooting capabilities. Please choose one of two operating modes. First mode, puppy loving pacifist. I will aim at the enemy's lower extremities. Second mode, stone cold killer. I will aim exclusively at the head. Um, I well, guess I'll go with puppy loving pacifist. Adjusting settings. Bum bum be dum bum bum be dum bum. Ugh. Selected mode, puppy loving pacifist. Enjoy permanently crippling your enemies. Since we're gonna work together, only right to say hello. They call me El Capitan, and they call you... Huh? See no introductions necessary. All right, take care of that. Someone comes to me with beers, I take care of it. I eat, sleep, and breathe beers. Remember what was that? that? Aye, aye, Captain. While we're at it, one in fresh wheels, bikes, I got it all. Real good prices. So hit me up anytime, you hear? Do 
get it over with. About to get mad. to finish me off. No, just here to reset you. Guess I'll have to do it myself then. Whoa, easy. Not out to hurt you. Well, I am. Why? Why decommiss yourself? Because I'm a damn car in a world of humans. Ugly as sin, no prospects for the future. Intimidated on the streets by punks like you? There are other ways out besides suicide. What? Therapy? A colossal waste of time. Shrinks hate vehicles. We don't have mothers. Could go back into the fold. Rejoin the network. You know, one big happy family. <sighs> Delamain detests me. Listen, from suicide, ain't no coming back. It's always worth looking for a better way me because I'm a car. I'm not like you. Hey, the body's just a body. You exist. You think the world gets you down. Don't see how we're any different. So, you'd offer this advice to a human in my place? Gotta try to come to terms with this thing called life, Del. One wheel revolution at a time. Fine, I'll go back.
control of the vehicle restored, and I thank you. Ought to show this one some love, just saying. Apologies, I simply don't understand, and fear I've no time to ask. Other more urgent tasks require my attention. You're an absent father, that's what I mean. I see. Anyway, a share of your fee has been transferred.
You really saved my ass. I can't thank you enough. What about the ride? You gonna fence it? Well, I have to sooner or later. I know a guy in Sacramento, a collector? He'll set me up for life. Oh, but for now, I'm taking her with me. Spruce her up a little more. Wouldn't stick around too long if I were you. Sixth Street are gonna be searching high and low for this beauty. I'm leaving town today. It's like Uncle Estevez always said. If you gotta choose between your ride and saving someone else's ass, always choose the ride. At least you know that a ride's never gonna betray you. People, on the other hand... <laughs> Excellent. The car has reached its owner. Now the money will reach you. Good deeds are always repaid in kind. Closing the contract. Until next time. Shit, just open up! We came here as colleagues, nothing else. Haven't heard from you in a while. We're worried. No, now leave me alone. Congrats, Mendez. Way to be a prick. Oh, what? So I'm the bad guy? I'm not the one who's holed up playing the attention whore. He lost a friend. Can you blame him? He's not the first or the last. It's called life. What's going on? I live right upstairs. Just so keep on living and stop minding other people's biz. Mendez, hold on. It's his neighbor. Is there anything I can do? Maybe. You know Barry at all? More or less. Struck up a convo once or twice. He's a friend from the precinct. Left the force not long ago. He broke down after his best friend died. We're worried he'll do something stupid. Relax, Petrova. Barry's got nerves of steel. He's just a spiteful old bastard. Mendez! Could you check on him when he's chilled down? Sure, why not? Not like we're miles apart. Thanks. Just be patient. Cops falling in rough times can be touchy. I'll see what I can do. Hey, Barry? Everything all right in there? I'm gonna take that as yes. <sighs> Try again later. V, your neighbor from upstairs. Remember me? Talked about Prem rides. Back then, you were pumped about the Mizutani Shion. I said it was for flash posers. <laughs> you don't forget a gonk thing like that. He gave me this look. I was about to hightail it to the Badlands right then and there. I remember. 
What do you want? Just wanted to see what's shaking. Friends say you never leave your unit. Think I've got an inkling as to why. Seen that look before. It's all too common among people like us. Us? <laughs> you don't look like a cop. Badges don't get a monopoly on loss. You see death every day in my line of work. You get used to it, of course. Until it hits someone you're close to. You too. Come in. I lost someone close to me, too. Damn good friend. What do you mean, too? Wait. It's about Andrew. He, uh... Told you about him. Best bud I ever had. Known in my whole life. Only person I could spill to without being judged. Guessing things at the NCPD haven't changed a lick, huh? One time? A Maelstrom ganger killed a young kid right in front of my eyes. For shits and giggles. I couldn't do shit. The son of a bitch had corporal protection. Ah, <sighs> typical. Our chief greases his palms with an anonymous donation. And guess what? Officially, kid blew his own brains out. Right in front of your eyes. Something died in me then. I couldn't do it anymore. A few months later, Andrew passed, and everything went to shit. You didn't have anyone to unload on at work? How about Petrova and Mendez? Petrova's a decent gal, but she's not good with this stuff. Mendez just doesn't get it. He thinks us blues need to be tough. Can't bear the sight of a kid getting murdered. Born with pussy jeans. But you told him about Andrew. Honestly, I thought about it a lot. Anyway, they don't know everything. Better that way. Can you tell me how Andrew died? Does it matter? Normally, from old age. It's no wonder, seeing as he was only a few years younger than my grandma. Dying of old age? In Night City? That merits a monument. Whole world should gaze up at it now. <laughs> Ashbox and the niche will have to do. So then Andrew was more like a grandpa to you than a friend? <laughs> Wouldn't go that far. He was like a... Uh, I don't know. A window into the past or something. He reminded me of my gram-grams. About our little talks. <sighs> Time when everything had its proper place. You know, he was the last living record of those times. Mendez doesn't know shit about life. Everyone's got their limits, even him. He just hasn't reached them. Not like you. What if he's right, though? Maybe my genes are soft. Don't only the strongest survive? If you felt nothing, that means his loss wouldn't have had any meaning. I guess so. Thanks for the talk, V. I am. Um, I need time to take all this in. Sure thing. Take care.
What is? So let's get you back to safety. The garage. By driving through the streets. Well, yeah. Afraid so. Fine. Take me there. Just get me out of here. Let me know when I'm safe. You're welcome in, but do take it slow. And try not to hit anything. And he can still see him and talk to him whenever he wants. Because Preston's dad... He didn't go to heaven, like your mom. Preston says his dad is in an even better place than heaven. He's at Arasaka. <sighs> Sweetie... And he said if we had more money, then mom could also be at Arasaka instead of in heaven. And then we could go and see her together every day. Honey, I'm sorry. Barry's not okay. I mean, if that tortoise was the one thing that got him up in the morning. Now you're starting to get it. His friends have to know. Hopefully it's not too late. You know how it goes. Stare too long into the abyss, the abyss will stare right back at you. Taking a step into it wouldn't be so drastic, considering the shit he's seen in his lifetime. Great. Just great. Now, we certainly can't stay here. Keep driving. We're going to die. Oh, right. Now, 
We certainly can't stay here. Keep driving. Wasn't so bad. It was horrifying. But still, I thank you. Sincerest thanks for your assistance, V. I've taken the liberty to send you a share of your fee. Decide to get his shit together. I'll cry out loud, Mendez. Hey, so what exactly did Barry tell you about that friend he lost? Not much. Hardly ever spoke about him. Said once he was the only one who could understand him. It's nice to have someone like that. Barry isn't in great shape. So much so, in fact, that he preferred to talk to a tortoise instead of you two. That's supposed to be funny? The complete opposite. It's sad as hell. Barry didn't handle badge life too well. You made fun of him, so he stopped sharing things. And apart from you guys, all he had was a tortoise. His best friend. A memento of his grandma. Till he died, that is. Fuck. I don't fucking believe this. You're bullshitting me. You want proof? Niche in the columbarium speaks for itself. Why would he lie to us, though? He talked about the tortoise like it was a normal person. How do you think Mendez would react if Barry admitted he was talking to animals? Jesus, Barry. I thought he was being a drama queen, that he'd get over it. I gotta go and talk to him. About time. Thanks for your help. This is for your trouble. Damn it, Barry. Can't we just talk? Petrova told me your last case was a real ball buster. Boss told you to keep your lips sealed, huh? Had a similar situation once, you know? Fucking child killer. 
dirt bag was on the petrochem board, so it was out of our hands. Remember it to this day, that little kid's t-shirt, green with this funny yellow cat. Trace some klept meds. Someone's stashing them in a kabuki apartment. Unfortunately, no idea what's waiting for you there, so be careful. Anyway, you bring them back, some rippers will thank you. Profusely. More deets in the attachment. Well, princess, how long I got to wait for you to mine? Hey, shut it! Double rest genius? Bullshit. You're a genius. I'm motherfucking Dick Knight. Way it stands now, I'm up 3-0. Who's the genius again? Yeah? Yeah? <laughs> See who's laughing when I clean you out of your last can. <laughs> Go ahead. Keep talking, Scott. Oh, this here's all strategy. First, I distract you. Then I bust out a car that'll knock you flat on your back. <laughs> yeah? Let's see it. You hear that howling at night? Like a dying animal. Ah, ah. Shh, 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 shh. Quiet. Ah, can't go and breathe on him. We'll rile up the tigers. I know. And we can't ask them, or we will repay them for the rest of our lives. Gotta do something. Can't have him here. I... I don't know. Thank <laughs> you. 
Stop! Sure, sure. And you be careful with that trigger. How did you find me? GPS transmitter. The one you forgot to disable on the stolen meds. Just hand him over, and I'm gone. Stolen? <laughs> the Bale of Paradol doesn't work! So, 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 so who's stealing from who? Who? Ripper docs. They're the real criminals. Bale of Paradol? For cyberpsychosis? Uh, I'm not fucking crazy! Easy, easy. Shut up! Go away! If they're of no use to you, they don't work. Just hand them over. You're the same as them. Rippers, politicians. The same as that fucking halt. I could think of a few differences. Shut up! That bastard he stole from, from research. He doesn't care about the sick. But, but soon, I'll find him. End him. Militech HKS-47 with polymer reinforcement. You were a soldier. Militech, 3rd Light Division, 155th Infantry Regiment. Seven years in a fucking jungle. When times were simpler... Before you got sick. You cast me out like a dead battery. That's no reason to become a terrorist. Where'd you serve? Brazil. I remember all of it. Dirt on my face. Fatigue's always, always wet. It's like a brain dance. I, 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 I can't shut off. Memories flood back. Without the adrenaline. Without my brothers. Fuck. So quickly they forgot me. You're angry, and I get it. You feel cheated. Not just me. I know. But if you zero Holt... You'll make it worse for everyone in your condition. They'll hunt you down. Leave. Go, please. No, I can't without those meds. Over there. I want to be alone.
Thanks, V. Couldn't have been easy, but you handled it like a pro. Job done, contract closed.